look what happened to my shorts in the video. Woohoo! It's like a roller coaster. Oh my god. If you wanted to know what goes on behind the scenes of a creator photo shoot. <laughs> Good morning beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video and vlog. So I have decided to film a little week in the life vlog because I've just started my new job in London so I wanted to take you guys around my kind of day to day routine. It is currently Liam's birthday today so I thought it would be a great way to celebrate and get out my camera and film. I've also got a lot of other exciting plans and things to do this week. Let's get on with the week. You're so cute. It is currently about eight hours later. I've just got back. I'm literally still in the same room as you will have seen in the last clip. I'm about to give Liam his birthday present, so I'm very, very excited. Ta-da! Do you want to open any in particular? Uh, no. On all the presents, I've written, like, little notes about what each present means. That's what I absolutely love. I love getting kind of like a variety of gifts. So they've all got these cute little notes. For when you want to try something new, <laughs> have you tried them before? No. And neither have I, and I was like, mm -hmm. they sound amazing. It's <gasps> oh, <laughs> in the IKEA vlog. No, I found them elsewhere. We saw them Damn. in IKEA, and in the vlog, we're like, oh my god, we need to get some, and we never picked them up, and then I found them. This is chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. You can't go wrong with a big bar of dairy milk either. For when you need to be assured. Are you gonna marry me? No. <laughs> I know what this is. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> you got the elephant one. I did get the elephant one. Did you get it from there? I'm not telling you where I got it from, oh. but I managed to find it because I know you've been looking for the elephant one forever because you love elephants. Oh. We've got two more. I think you should open it. This is the funny one, so I think you should open this first. I think I know what this is gonna be. Pair of trainers. <gasps> It's the pride bag from Calvin Klein you wanted. Oh, I love that. I want to see it. I haven't actually properly looked at it. Oh, that's so cute. I think it's going to be your face and something. <laughs> Final gift. This is the best thing that's ever existed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy with this. When this arrived, I was like, brilliant. It's a baby doll of me! But it's actually not too bad quality. Yeah, it's actually quite nice and soft. Okay, so we are just about to leave for Liam's dinner. We're just going to a really nice fancy pub because who doesn't love a bit of pub grub on a Monday evening? This is my little summer evening outfit. So I've got this charity shop thrifted um, white polo, which was four pounds. And then these beige cream um, corduroy shorts, which I got for eight pounds in TK Maxx. And this is Liam's cute little outfit, oh. Mr. Birthday Boy. Good morning beautiful people and welcome back to the weekly vlog. It's currently Tuesday. Apologies for not filming the end of yesterday's little vlog clip. It was so so lovely. I just decided to put away all my technology, put away all my phones because as much as I love vlogging and you know taking Instagram pictures and things like that, sometimes it's just nice to live and be in the moment. Currently walking to work. I walk in the most beautiful area of London. Also I have recently got into TikTok. If you want to follow me it's the same as all my other handles. It's at jamiedeerx. This is one that I uploaded today, a week in outfits, and then I basically kind of give you a mini look. Good morning, beautiful people, and happy Wednesday. I can't believe it is Wednesday already. Today I am working from home. I just feel like the last two days, because I've been in London working, have just been super, super, super busy. I have a few hours to kind of do my own thing, and I'm going to be filming some TikToks, which I am so, so excited about, and filming a YouTube video, and going on an Instagram shoot. So of course, I will take you along with me. The one good thing about today is that the sun is shining. So I feel very, very lucky that the sun is shining and that there's blue skies. So I've got some TikTok clothes ready because like I said, my TikTok is mainly based around fashion. So I film all of my TikToks in my front room in this little corner. Also, I've just walked into my dining room and there is a huge box of mole teasers. So I'm going to go grab my cup of tea. Is that my cup of tea? What? How did my tub... I do not remember putting my cup of tea there. And I'm gonna have some Maltesers because they look so good. So I literally just turned off the camera to film my first TikTok and look what happened to my shorts in the video. Are you kidding? These are brand new and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna wear them for the TikTok and they're gonna look so cute. Are you, I can, They've literally shed, because they're corduroy, all over the floor. I literally caught it in the video. I will leave the video here, and my reaction and my face is literally priceless. That's not even a tiny rip. That's a massive 
gash in the side of my shorts. So I literally have just come upstairs. Nothing to do with me, but it's to do with one of my best friend creators, Sophia. She's probably watching this. She does YouTube, she does Instagram, she does the lot because she is so amazing. And she is literally about to hit 10,000 followers on her Instagram account. 10,000 followers. Can you even begin to imagine? Like, that is 10,000 people. Oh my goodness. She is one follower away from 10,000. Oh my god, the tension is unbearable. <gasps> oh my god, Sophia, you just hit 10k, babes. Oh my god, I'm so, so proud of you. Look at that k. Hey, okay, now I need to get back on with the rest of my day because I've still got a busy day, but congratulations, babe. Hello, beautiful people. So apologies for the really awkward angle. I don't actually have a tripod, so my camera is probably going to move and slide everywhere. It's currently now a lot later on in the day, and I've just done some work for my work, and I'm currently driving to see one of my lovely creator friends who lives locally called Beth, and we're going for a cute little summer evening photo shoot, which is much needed. If you want to head over to my Instagram, it is at, oh, I told you you'd be sliding. Woohoo! It's like a roller coaster in this car for you guys today. It's just much easier to gather together like five to seven outfits and just shoot all in one day. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Can yeah. we go a little lower for this one? Lower. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, <laughs> who? So, while my phone is loading, I'm gonna introduce you to Beth. <laughs> You look so small in the camera. So she is a fellow Instagram creator like me and I'll leave her link in the description box below for you guys to go and check out her page because it's so gorgeous. And we're currently taking photos outside of a dentist up this gorgeous road with lots of different colored houses and buildings. And people are looking at us, let's run. Try to act natural, try to act natural, try to act natural. We have come for the quick change. We literally get changed into all of our outfits in the car. Like that is how that is the life of an influencer and creator. It's not very glamorous at all. So here is the boot, literally full of bags and piles of our clothes. So if you wanted to know what goes on behind the scenes of a creator photo shoot, this is it. So we are about to wrap out our photo shoot seven or eight outfits later. We've done so many today, which is great, but we've just come to our last spot, which is these beautiful, hills like I feel like I'm in the sound of music the hills are alive so of course I thought I would dress up in this gorgeous top man blazer um, ignore the fact that I'm wearing blue shorts on the bottom that is not shown in the image there's these cute little yellow flowers everywhere um, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to get out the structured yellow blazer stay tuned on our Instagrams for all of the photos I am at Jamie DX and Beth is at Beth Rose Drummond yeah? yeah? Yay! But I'll leave it all in the description box for you guys. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Thursday. So today is Thursday. I'm currently on my way to work. I'm in my cute ASOS denim boiler suit because I haven't been feeling too good recently so I thought I would shove on an outfit that I adore at the moment and it's so summery and playful and cute. I'm running extremely late. My train is in five minutes so I'm hoping I can make it on time. I just feel like recently I haven't been sleeping very well. I don't know why this week has just been an emotional roller coaster. It is currently 9.38 and my train's in three minutes so can we make it? Stay tuned. We've just pulled up at the station now. I just need to grab my ticket from these machines and then we can get on the train. And for safety, we've got to put on our face mask. Time to get on the train. I don't know if you can hear me at all with my face mask on, but we're just heading into St Pancras now. I love how empty the trains have been recently. Like, you can literally get booths to yourself and I'm like... We'll be arriving at London St Pancras International for the Circle, Hammersmith and City lines. Exit here for... London King's Cross. The face mask can come off now I'm in London and now I'm going to start my walk to work. It probably takes me around 20 minutes. I think it's really, really good that train stations are offering out not only free masks, but free hand sanitizer and things like that. So if your commute is a lot more comfortable and a lot safer. I'm still getting used to wearing a face mask on public transport. So it's a weird thing to get used to. Obviously we all must do it to keep safe and because it is the law, 
but it is still a strange thing to get used to. So there have been occasions where I have forgotten it and they've just been like, yeah, here's a face mask. And I've been like, thank you so much. Good morning, beautiful people. And welcome to the last day of the weekly vlog. So today is Friday, Friday. Honestly, so, so happy it is Friday. And I've got today off work, which is so nice. The weather outside isn't as good as it has been all week, but we're still going to make the most of the day. I'm actually going for afternoon tea this morning with one of my bestest friends, Lucy. You will have also seen her in one of my other vlogs where we went to London and she took me out for my 21st birthday to see Anne Juliet the musical, which was insane. And it's just been her birthday. So we're going to go sit in her garden, of course, all socially distanced and have a lovely afternoon tea, hopefully in the sunshine once these clouds move. I'm in such a cute little look today. I'm in my dungarees, which I haven't got out for the longest time. And I was like, today's the day. We finally made it here. They literally live in the middle of nowhere, which is both lovely, but they live like down loads of country lanes, which are impossible to drive through because if somebody is coming in the opposite direction, you have to reverse all the way down the road. So it was not cute. So we're going to be having a cute little afternoon socially distanced tea party. So she's just going to get the tea and the cupcakes. I'm getting quite hot, not gonna lie. I think it's all of the layers. Ebony, hello, come here. That's Lucy's dog. She's so cute. Are you good? Oh, yes, you are. So we've been sitting out in her garden for about, what, about an hour? About an hour -ish. Yeah, for about an hour, just having a nice little catch up. I have finished my first cup of tea and we'll probably have a second shortly, but we're just about to dig into the birthday cupcakes. Yeah. Do you want a terrace chocolate orange? I think I will have a terrace okay, chocolate I'll orange give you one. the one that hasn't melted. <gasps> oh, that looks so insane. You, I think every time we vlog and meet each other, we're eating cake. What are you going to put on? We're going to have pizzas. Pizzas? And I'm going to introduce you to a new type of pizza. Ooh. Like, Flamuc. <laughs> okay, go go get the food and I will try I'll try my cute cake. Look how insane that looks. I love a good cupcake. Donuts and cupcakes and cookies. Mmm. Okay. Oh my god. That is one of the nicest cupcakes I've ever had. Are you vlogging? Yeah. This is one of the nicest cupcakes I've ever had. From a local business called Laura Kate. Okay, so the first of the pizza has come out. Look how delicious this looks. It just looks like a garlic bread with like bacon and cheese and onions. But this is right up my street. Okay, so I'm going to try the, what's it called? <laughs> we still can't say it. Flamacushion. Flamacushion. Um, We're going to try the flamacushion. It's a bit like a carbonara pizza. Mm, you're yeah. so right, it is literally a carbonara pizza. I'm leaving Lucy's house now after nearly four hours, but needed, a much needed catch up. I don't want to go. I don't want to go either. Why won't you stay with me? Cause you're, hey, all I need. So we are now back home, exciting package, which I just wanted to open on camera. I haven't actually spoken about this on my YouTube channel yet. Ta-da! So here is the package that I've been sent. Over lockdown, I've really seen a huge growth and boost in my Instagram, which has just been incredible. And over the last few weeks, I've worked with some incredible brands like Lacoste. Just so exciting when you get an email and it's like, hi, like we're so-and-so company, like we love your content. We really want to send you a gift or we really want to do this with a campaign and we want to use your photographs. And I'm like, oh my God, yes. Most of the time I'll always accept a collaboration. Um, whether I decide to do anything with the product is, you know, it's something else just because sometimes people send me products and I'm like, actually one, I don't use it or two, I don't like it. Been sent this parcel by Burlington Socks and they actually get sold on like Selfridges and things. So when they got in contact with me, I was super excited. Oh my God, how funky are these? These are so soft and good quality. So these are the first pair of Burlington Socks that I was sent. This is the Burlington Clyde. Got this like little detail here, which is so cute. I adore the colors, sorry. This lilac and mint green. Hell yes. I also got sent this gorgeous navy pair and I don't think you can ever go wrong with like a standard navy pair. And then this is a snazzy pair and a half. These are neon green and gray. So the other week I got sent these hair products from The Natural Barber and there's like this paste and there's also this 
putty which I have yet to try because I don't usually put products in my hair but I really wanted to try it for a look on my Instagram. This reusable three-in-one travel friendly handy bag which is basically a hand sanitizer, a surface sanitizer and a phone screen hand sanitizer in one little bottle. For every one that you buy you get one donated to an NHS or a key worker which I think is such a beautiful message. And now I'm going to get on with filming a few TikToks and editing because this evening I am going to be booking a trip to Bristol and Oxford for the next few weeks with Liam just because I want to get away and yeah I'm gonna stop rambling on now and get on with my afternoon. Good evening beautiful people so it's currently Friday evening and Liam and I just went out for a lovely Wagamama day and it was so so nice. I will leave some Instagram stories that I uploaded here just so you guys can see what we ate. We are now back home and in our pajamas and we are probably just gonna watch some TV and go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekly vlog. If you did don't forget to smash the like button and of course subscribe down below for more content and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys, thank you for watching.